Hello. How is everyone? Um, so it's been a while since I've uploaded a video or have done one of these, so let's see where this goes. Um, it's been about two years uh, since I posted about my journey with Lucinopro. A lot has changed since then. Um, so to give you an update, a rundown, right now I am still actually on the Nocinopro. Um, but I'm actually down to 5 milligrams uh, per day. But I've gotten used to uh, just having it and taking it every day. Uh, there are a few changes though that, that I've got, had to go through that kind of brought me back to my old videos. Um, so about a month ago, I was diagnosed again with high cholesterol. So high cholesterol is something that does run in my family. Um, so when I went to the doctor, it was 337. This was back in November. Um, like at the beginning of May, I wasn't feeling good. And I went to go see the doctor again. They ran some tests and it turned out that I had higher blood pressure again, still in the 330s, and I needed to do something about it. Uh, so they prescribed for me uh, Simvastatin, 10 milligrams. Uh, I was on that for about a month. And I knew again that I needed to make a complete change and it sounds redundant, you know, me saying it over and over again. But I took it extra serious this time around because now I do have a family that I need to look after and I need to make sure that I'm alive for them and not just for them but for myself. Um, so I took on a plant-based diet and I always hated the word vegetarian or vegan but seeing that there were so much options out there to still be healthy, to still eat healthy, um, I I just went ahead and did it. So it took me about 30 days practically uh, to really get into a flow of everything and uh, understand my body and, and see where it was taking me and as of June the 5th, which was my last doctor's appointment, I was actually taken off the simvastatin, and my blood pressure was so much under control that at this point, you know, I really don't need it um, unless I feel that my body is, you know, going into shock, I guess, uh, in regards to my blood pressure. So... I've seen some of your comments, um, you know, I, I've tried to respond as much as I could, uh, but I just wanted to actually just start vlogging again and just start putting out a video, uh, you know, whenever I can, just kind of showing you that it is possible to take care of your body um, without having to stick to a specific diet. So I watched a lot of documentaries on nutrition and how meat is bad for you and, and I'm not just saying you know go out and be a vegetarian go out and be a vegan um, what I want to encourage is to start start eating more vegetables it doesn't necessarily have to be every single vegetable that's out there start by what you like and focus on making sure that you have something green every single meal and little by little you start noticing a change um, a lot of my change came about through, you know, eating salads, eating salmon, eating quinoa, uh, substituting so much. So what I wanted to do with this vlog is just kind of let you guys know that I was going to start going through some of my meals here and there, um, kind of giving you guys ideas that not only will help you with high cholesterol, but also with high blood pressure. Um, so if you guys are still around and you want to keep watching, just comment, subscribe. Um, as of right now, as far as my weight, uh, I weighed myself this morning. Uh, I was at 190 after, you know, a few burgers, July 4th. Happy July 4th, by the way, uh, to everybody, or late July 4th. Um, 
so I, I'm not focusing too much on the number, but I want to bring you guys on this journey uh, just to see how far I can get. So um, thank you guys again for watching. I'm sorry that it, this has been so long overdue, but I'd like to hear from you guys. So leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, share the video, whatever you'd like to do. Have a good day.